This video is going to be on request forgeries. There are two types that you need to memorize for the Security Plus 601 exam. Server-side and cross-side request forgeries. Server-side request forgery is designed to explore how a server processes an external information. Some web applications may be designed to read information from or write information to a particular URL. If an attacker can modify the target URL, they can potentially pull sensitive information from the application or inject untrusted input to it. Cross-side request forgery involves taking advantage of state-changing requests, where a web server will take some action based on authenticated user browsing to a particular page. Example may include changing an account password or making a transaction via online banking portal. An attacker exploits a request forgery's vulnerabilities when a user visits a site designed to force a secondary request to a certain site. Let's say a website has an image which needs to be fetched from a certain web page on a target site. When the user's browser tries to fetch the content, it then makes a state-changing request instead on the target site and does something like reset a password or perform a financial transaction. This attack works because user is already authenticated to the target site and the force request includes cookie containing session information.